At Suspension Supplies Australia, we talk to lots of customers about four-wheel drive suspensions. But without doubt, the most inquiries we get are about suspension lift kits. And with so many different makes and models being used in so many ways, you can well imagine there are many different options for what is so often simply referred to as the lift kit. I'm Greg. In this video, I would like to show you what is involved in just one of the types of lift kits we do. This is one of the common later model vehicles we encounter and the lift kit is fairly typical of what customers are asking for, which is to remove the sagged original suspension so that they sit level and can carry a load when required, and or to give them ground clearance to go off road or to simply look better. Important note at this point, we do not want to lift the vehicle any higher than is legally permissible or to a point that would compromise the vehicle's safe operation. Okay. So here we have our vehicle, looking typically flat, and as our customer reported, unable to carry any load without sagging. The customer also advised that the ride was too bouncy, or as we would say, uncontrolled. And here's a sneak peek at our tired looking original front suspension, and a very flat rear suspension. See that the four primary leaves are so flat they are constantly engaged with the heavy second stage of the spring, which makes for a harsh pogo stick ride. So time for wheels off and let's start removing the old suspension from the vehicle. We need to remove the spring seat shock absorber and coil as an assembly. For this vehicle, that involves undoing the upper control arm fixing bolts, disconnecting brake hose retainer brackets, and removing the tie rod from its tapered seat. Now disconnect the lower shock mount bolt, remove the top mount plate fixing nuts, and pull the shock and coil assembly down and out of its position. Time to dismantle the shock and coil assembly in our pneumatic spring compressor. Bet you wish you had one of these. Remove the top plate for possible reuse by unfastening the top mount fixing nut while the coil is still compressed and captured. Once removed, release the coil from its compressed state and then inspect the top mount plate condition. If the mount is still serviceable, lubricate the top plate mount seat with grease to assist the new coil to slip into its correct seat position with ease during reassembly. Time to reassemble our shock and coil assembly using the chosen new components to suit the customer's load requirement for fitted accessories and finished height preference. And refit our new assembly back into the vehicle. Ready for the rear now, so with the differential supported, we disconnect the top and bottom shock absorber mounts and undo the bolts securing the spring to the diff. Undo the rear shackles and remove them, and then the front fixed end pins, and the old rear leaf springs can be taken off the vehicle. Now we collect the spring chosen to suit this customer's requirements, making sure we bend at the knees when we lift, and smile. Gotta have a smile when you're lifting. Lift the spring into position. Pre-lube front fixed pin and rear shackles, and assemble to the spring and chassis points. Use the grease gun to ensure grease is being delivered to all the correct places on the bush surfaces that you can see. Don't overdo it and leave a mess as excess grease will eventually drop on the driveway or road. Tighten all U-bolts to correct tension and recheck pins and shackles are tight. Fit the shock absorber into position, tighten top and bottom fittings on both sides. And it's time to put the wheels back on and put the vehicle back on the ground. So let's just have a look at how these rear springs were before. Tired, flat and sitting down on the second stage. And again, with good camber in the primary spring giving us height and a gradual introduction of all leaves in the spring. And a second stage well away but still ready for when the big loads come on and the primary flattens onto it gradually. Point of interest, the second stage starts to work on every part of it that is in contact with the primary spring above. Not just when the primary lays right down on it with the ends touching. And here is the before and after comparison. Improved height and clearance, able to carry a load better and a guaranteed better ride. So if you feel your four-wheel drive needs a lift and some help carrying a load, give us a call or email us here at Suspension Supplies Australia and one of our experienced staff will discuss the options available to you. You will benefit from knowing what can be done and be provided with an attractive price offering you real value for your money. So let's hear from you real soon.